So I've just been running into an issue with foliage in Unreal Engine where I get a massive frames per second drop. Let me demonstrate it for you and we'll get to the fix in just a moment. Let's go into the foliage painting tool and I'm currently using European Beach from Megascans, which is their tree pack. They're currently set to Nanite. So let's drag one of these trees into our foliage painter. So you can see my frames per second here, pretty much almost maxed out. Let's see what happens when I start painting. Paint along the horizon, paint, 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 paint. After having painted 466 trees, our frames have dropped from north of 100 to 18 frames per second, which is drastic. What's going on? Now in the foliage tab, with my tree selected, I can go down to my shadow settings. Now, if I turn off cast shadow, which you wouldn't want to do really, you want trees to cast shadows, but you can see that there's a small performance bump to up to 32 frames per second. Not really the increase I'm looking for here. Uh, so I went looking for other answers. It is in fact the world position offset part of the material for the trees that's causing the problem. Let me show you what I mean. If we open this tree, you can see that it's blowing in the wind, which is lovely. But this is what's causing our problem. So let's go into the master material, which is uh, all the way at the bottom of two materials, MA foliage. Okay, so in MA foliage, there's our world position offset pin. I'm just gonna delete that connection like that. It's destructive, but it needs to be done. Uh, that has bumped our performance up considerably. Now we're getting north of 60, nearly 70 frames per second. And you'll see when I turn shadows back on, we're still getting that performance. Unfortunately, now we have a whole forest of trees that are not moving. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we can have some trees in our foreground that move while the rest of the forest is static for performance reasons. To make this work, what we're going to have to do is duplicate this mesh along with three materials. Simply right click on it and select duplicate. And I'm just going to give it a WPO extension to distinguish it from the original mesh. So now we're in the mesh viewer here and you can see on the right hand side, there are five material slots. And as I say, we only need to duplicate three materials. The first one we need to duplicate is the first one, which is two sided European beach field, which is the foliage mask. So we're going to reveal that in the content browser. It's right here. Right click on that and duplicate. Same as we did with the mesh, WPO. Now double click on that material. To find the next one we're gonna duplicate, we're gonna scroll to the bottom. You can see the parent material is called MAI European Beach Field. This one we will also reveal in the content browser. So right click on that one as well and duplicate. Same again, WPO. Double click on that one. It wouldn't be mega scans without materials within materials. So there you find MA underscore foliage, the master material where we disabled the world position offset. We revealed that as well. That one's in a completely different folder. It's under MS presets where they keep all the master materials for mega scans. And once more, we're feeling duplicate WPO. So this duplicated master material is going to need the world position offset pin reconnected. So we've done that. And now we're going to add these materials to our duplicated mesh. There's our duplicated mesh. We'll go inside there. We've duplicated our two-sided, so we can just select the WPO version of that. Done. Now we'll go into that one and replace the European Beach Field MAI material with the WPO one. And finally, go into there and replace the master material MA foliage with MA foliage WPO. So now that we have the two kinds of trees, I'm just gonna add my copied tree into the foliage type, make sure it's selected and that my other one is deselected. And we're gonna paint a couple of the ones that do move into the foreground. There we go. Just a couple of dabs with the brush. So now you can see these trees are moving. You still have a whole forest as well. Now one thing to bear in mind is that this is not a mega scalable process if you want to do a lot of trees. We just did one but each of these trees has got a unique material for its leaves and a parent material as well. 
But if you just want to do a few for the foreground, then it's totally fine and it's not going to hurt performance at all. So if any of you do know any more workarounds for world position offset that doesn't eat into performance as much as this, I'd love to know. So please pop a comment below. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.